Hey guys, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts and today I'm going to be sharing a project that's kind of dear and dear to my heart. We're huge Chiefs fans at my house and the Chiefs have made it to the Super Bowl. So of course I had to try to make a Patrick Mahomes inspired hat. Um, I posted this on Facebook in one of my groups and they wanted to see how I made it. So here we go guys. For this project, I'm going to be using I Love This Yarn by uh, Hobby Lobby in the colorway red. I'm going to be using Loops and Thread Impeccable Yarn in the colorway chocolate for the top of the hat. And then for the hair, I'm going to be using Yarn Inspirations Brunette Softy Chunky Yarn in the colorway Dark Taupe. Um, I'm using an H size crochet hook. That's my favorite hook to use uh, for worsted weight yarn. And of course, I'll be using some scissors to trim it with and a yarn needle um, to weave in my ends. Start this hat, we are gonna be working on a bottom up style hat. So we're working on um, the, the headband part of the hat. So for that, I am going to chain 15. So 15 single chains single crochets rather and then once you get your 15 you are going to single crochet into every stitch along there so when you get to the end of your row you will have 14 stitches in each row and this first row just kind of get it in there so that you have 14 stitches and when you get to the end you're going to chain one and turn your work Now, for this next row, we are going to single crochet into the back loop only. So not the front loop, but the back loop there. And this is what's going to make your headband really stretchy and make it forgiving for the fit of the hat. So single crochet into the back loop only of every stitch. And this is what every row from here on out is going to look like. So I am going to do a total of 64 rows of single crochet into the back loop only so you'll have 64 total um, rows for your headband and that's again that'll make it very stretchy and fit 64 fit my head um, you know if you're making it for a larger person um, you could add a couple more rows um, this hat's pretty forgiving so um, yeah just just go with it when you get to the end again your chain one and single crochet into the back loops only until you get 64 rows or whatever you need and then when you get your 64 rows you can see how stretchy it is there and then I am just going to double my work over I have not trimmed my yarn yet so the yarn, I still have my working yarn on there and you are going to single crochet through both loops of each side so through four of your loops all the way across the edge there. And I think that makes a pretty nice seam on most projects. Um, you can't hardly detect it. So um, I'll show you here once I get it done, I'll turn it around and you can see how nice it looks from the outside as well as, you know, it just, it's just a, a great way to seam it together, I think. And it's easy and it's quick. You can see I'm getting to the corner here. Hopefully you can't hear my dog snoring in the background because he is. <laughs> Sorry if, if you can hear that. So you can see how nice it looks there. And then I just finished, uh, I trimmed my yarn and I finished it off. And then I'll weave in my ends at the very end. But yeah, so that's the headband part of the hat. Okay, so for the top part of the hat, we're going to join our um, chocolate impeccable uh, yarn to the headband. To do that, we are going to do 64 single crochets all the way around. So you have 64 rows and now, so you're going to single chain, single crochet basically into each one of those ridges. Now, don't worry if if you, it, it doesn't look perfect, you're not gonna see this part of the hat because the hair is gonna cover all of this uh, joining right here, but make it look as nice as you can. Um, 64 is the, the number I used. If you made a larger one, um, try to, if you, 
if you need to do more than 64 single crochets around, that's fine. We can always decrease those a little bit later. Um, so just go ahead and single chain, um, single crochet all the way around. Try to get 64 if you can. And that's just going to be the base then for um, joining our top part of our hat to our headband. When you get all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into that first space and then you are going to chain two. Now for this next round, we are going to do a half double crochet into each stitch. So again, you'll have 64 half double crochets. I am going to do this for five rounds. Now this hat fit me perfect. It was a little bit short on my husband, I will say. Um, if I had to do it all over again for him, I would probably have done um, seven rows uh, just to make it a little bit uh, taller for him, maybe even eight um, before I started my decreasing but uh, for me, five work perfect. So, you know, kind of just judge accordingly on what you think. I did five for my husband. I probably would have done seven or eight. So just keep that in mind um, on who you're making your hat for. And then again, five, five rows for me. And then we're going to start our decreasing rows. And to do a decreasing row, we're going to start with um, six half double crochets in each stitch and if you crocheted at all you know um, you've done decreasing rounds before so six is the number we're going to start with and then you are going to half double crochet two together i believe that was four and there's five and then six, and now we're gonna do two together. So this is how I do my half double crochets together. And again, you're not gonna see any part of this hat, so it's all gonna be covered by hair, but try to make it as neat as possible, as always, right? And so you're just gonna repeat that all the way around this row. So six half double crochets and then two together. And I'll meet you at the other end. And here we are, and then you're gonna slip stitch into that first chain two, and then you're gonna chain two more, and we are going to continue to do decreasing rows. So in this row, it's gonna be half, five half double crochets into each stitch, and then we're gonna do two together. So five half double crochets, and then half double crochet two together. And that is what this round is going to consist of. And we're just starting to do the crown part of the hat and it's getting smaller and smaller. And I'll meet you back at the end of the round. And once you get to the end of the round, we're going to again slip stitch to that uh, chain two spot and we're going to chain two more. And now to keep decreasing, we're going to do four half double crochets and then crochet uh, two half double crochets together. So four and then two. And you're gonna continue that pattern all the way around to the end of this round. So four half double crochets and then cro ha two half double crochets together. And your hat should just be getting smaller and smaller as we go towards the top. And then once you get through with that round, we're gonna slip stitch again. I'm sorry if I go off screen a little bit here. I was trying to give you a close look. And you're gonna chain two, and then you're going to do three half double crochets, and then do two together. Again, you were just continuing to decrease the amount of stitches getting towards the top of the hat so that it gets smaller and smaller. So you're gonna compete you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way across. And slip stitch together, chain two, and then here we are going to do two half double crochets, and then two half double crochets together. And then we're just gonna go all the way around this round doing two half double crochets and then two half double crochets together. Again, your circle is getting smaller and smaller at the top. And I'll show you here in a minute. You can kind of see. 
And then again, to join the end of this round, you will just slip stitch into that chain two at the very beginning. And then you're going to chain two. And then we're gonna do, here you can see I'm showing you um, how small it's getting um, towards the top there. And that's what it's looking like. Again, it doesn't have to be that pretty, um, that's why I'm doing the slip stitch joining because we're going to cover all that with hair. For this row, we are going to do one half double crochet and then half double crochet two together all the way around to this round. And you can see it's getting smaller and smaller. So then for this next row, and I'm just going to keep doing half double crochets together until I get to the very, um, until I get the hole so small that uh, it kind of closes up. And then we'll use our yarn needle to close up any remaining hole that's left. But once you get a couple rows of these in, in there where you're just half double crocheting two together, it'll you don't really have to weave it in too much. But you can kind of see here, I did that. I finished it off. This is what it looks like. And I'll take my yarn needle and just close it a little bit. Um, again, you're just really weaving in your ends because it's not going to matter. You're not going to see any of this once you get the hair on it. Um, so just weave in your ends. I Close your hole as, as tight as you can. And then I just stuck my needle through and uh, weave the ends in on the inside. So I'm just stitching up the whole part there so that you can't see it. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I don't like that big hole at the top. <laughs> but uh, like again, I said, you're not going to see it. So it doesn't really matter if you don't want to weave it in as tight as I did. And then just weave in your ends. And then that is the beanie part of the hat. And then we're going to move on to the hair. So snip your ends there and let's get started on the hair. Hey, let's get started on the hair. This is the fun part. It's also the part that takes the most time. So I'm just using a piece of cardboard here. It's eight inches uh, in length, and I am gonna take my chunky yarn. This is the Burnett soft, Softy Chunky Yarn um, in dark taupe, and I'm gonna wrap it around this cardboard piece um, just a bunch of times. You're, you'll have to do it several times making the hair. So just go ahead and wrap it around and wrap it around. And then once I get um, enough on there, I'm going to cut it at the bottom. And then I'll kind of just hold it all together, and double it in half and cut it again at the top. So my strands of hair are basically going to be eight inches long. And this is just an easy way for me to cut them and get them approximate size. And they don't have to be perfect, guys, because... Hair is not perfect, and we're going to trim it anyway, so don't uh, fret about making sure they're all the exact same length. Just get them cut, get them close to the same size, and you'll be fine. So I'm going to hold two strands together at each time, and I'm going to fold them in half, and then that makes a loop on one end. So I'm going to stick my crochet hook through the very top part of the hat, and I thought it was easier to start at the top and work my way down but you do whatever works for you. You're just going to stick your crochet hook in there and pull that loop through and then pull all four ends through that loop. If you've ever made like a unicorn hat or anything, it's kind of the same concept. And then once I get my loops through, I always like to give each, I just like to tie a little knot in each of the strands. I think it just is more secure if you're wearing the hat. Who knows, this hat may go through a lot uh, if it gets to a Super Bowl party. <laughs> uh, it could be thrown on the ground or tossed in the air. Who knows? So, um, yeah. So, I'm just going to keep doing that all along. And this is the part that took the most time was putting the hair on. And I just keep going around. And I was not real careful with it. I just kind of willy-nilly put it on. Hair's kind of crazy anyways. It goes all different ways. And then, if see, here's where I'm trimming the ends. If, if, you don't, if you have some long ones or you think it looks weird, just trim them off. Just give it a little haircut. Now, I would do them like one or two at a time. I wouldn't go through and just whack them all off and make them straight and even again. Because you want them to be kind of irregular. I think that's what makes them look more hair-like. And then once I get them trimmed, you're going to see me here. I'm going to take each strand and I'm going to untwist it. So this yarn has like three different strands in each, um, in each piece of hair. So um, I'm just going to untwist it and I think it makes it look curlier. I think it look, makes it look more hair-like. And I did this with every single strand. Like I said, this is the part that takes a while. So just untwist it. 
and and go on and you'll see here I'll show you how it looks I think if you leave them all together it, it just looks like yarn but if you untwist them it looks more hair like so that's just my personal opinion um, I like the way it looks so that's what I did and just keep adding hair and going along and every once in a while I'll pick it up and I'll see where I need to add it and I'll give it a good shake to make sure it looks good and you're just going to keep working your way all the way down. Now, I did mine almost all the way down to the edge of the brown. Maybe there's a couple rows left at the very bottom. But just keep working it all the way down. Um, I wanted mine to be really full because that's the way I liked it. I thought it looked good. So, yeah, you do you. But that's how I did mine. And again, you're untwisting each and every one <laughs> as you go. And I did them a little bit at a time just because it was easier for me to tell where I needed to add more yarn. Um, like I said, I, I wasn't real particular about where I was putting them. I was just sticking them in and working my way down because um, I think hair is, hair is not that uniform. So especially uh, Mahomes, his hair is not real uniform. It's, after playing football, it's a little crazy. So... I didn't mind if mine was a little crazy too. And yeah, this is, like I said, this is the tedious part of, of trimming it all and, uh, and untwisting them. So go all the way down. You can see here now, I've got mine going almost to the very end here. And I, I'm just kind of looking to see where I need to add more. Sorry for my lighting. I did this, I recorded this on different days because I've been working a lot. So I'm just trimming off any of the crazy ends. Again, you want it to hang down over the edge of that uh, where the red and the brown meet. So uh, that was my goal as to far, how far I was going to go down because I didn't want that seam to show. I just wanted it to look like he was wearing a headband. So you want to go down far enough where you can't see that seam and let your hair hang over the edge. Now, for the emblem on mine, my husband is a huge Chiefs fan, so I just cut out the emblem off of one of his old hats, and then I sewed it to the front. Now, be careful when you're sewing it to the front. Remember that it's going to stretch. Mine was a little crazy on the first one I made. Um, if you don't have an old hat, there are um, several people on Etsy that sell the emblems. I know you can buy them at like some of the sporting goods stores. If you have a store near you that carries chief stuff, um, some of the sweatshirts and stuff will have these embroidered emblems on them. So I hope you guys enjoy this hat. Um, it's going to be fun. We're excited about the Chiefs being in the Super Bowl. So go Chiefs. I hope you guys make a few of these to have at your party. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. Have a great day, guys.